Hello you gorgeous people, thank you for joining my channel. My name is Tara, I'm here to help you make confident beauty choices and I'm really excited today because literally half an hour ago the postman um, dropped off my very first ever Pat McGrath lipstick. Oh Pat, the mother. Um, I have quite a few of Pat's um, eyeshadow palettes which I will be going through in a number of videos um, but I did not have a lipstick until today. Now I live in London so I'm lucky enough that I was able to go to Pat McGrath's labs uh, in Selfridges and have a look at the lipsticks but when I was there um, I found they're all quite dark or not quite um, a finish that I was looking for and I am so specific with my lipsticks. I, I'm sure you guys are, are as well. You know what you like and if it's not what you like then you're not interested. I have a window of like this in terms of finish and shade um, when it comes to my lipsticks. So when I first went to um, Selfridges and I didn't find anything in her lipstick range that I liked I was a bit disappointed but then last week I was having a little look on her website and I found a colour called Peep show. So it is a matte, it's in her matte trance collection, it is a sort of warm pale pink and um, I'll come up to the monitor. So this is it. I've had it on for around 20 minutes now and um, I have to say, well let's look at it first of all and then I'll, then I'll keep talking. So oh, lovely heavy packaging, exactly what you'd expect. From Pat McGrath um, and here is the bullet can you see that oh, you can see that it's definitely matte and it's a warm nude pale pink so let me so I don't know if you can my little my vitiligo patch Can you see that? It's like definitely warm. It's really quite pale. It kind it doesn't look as matte on my arm. It kind of looks creamier, but it's definitely a matte finish. Oh, I mean, I've literally had this lipstick about 20 minutes and I know it's a keeper. It's about three and a half hours since I did the last video. Um, I have been checking out my Pat McGrath Peep Show lipstick. Um, I have retouched, I had a tropical juice drink and fish and chips for dinner and I did retouch a little bit. I didn't swipe everywhere, I literally just took a little bit from the top here and dabbed it here and here because I found it was sort of disappearing in these, in the middle here but the um, around the edges was still really in really good shape so I get right up. How do we think it's looking? So just a pretty basic touch up in the last three and a half hours. I think it's looking really good and it's definitely um, assuaged my fears of the matte. Now, before you saw that, I was like, ah, oh, mattes, mattes. I haven't worn a matte lipstick for 15 years. I was really, really worried about how dry it would feel and also reapplying because sometimes with a matte you kind of get that pilling and it doesn't reapply nicely and you just have to take it all off and put it back on again. That's why I went very easily and also because of the cost of the lipstick I just sort of re reapplied where I felt it could do with another layer. And I am delighted with this lipstick. I have to say, uh, with Pat McGrath, I mean, you know, with her eyeshadows, people love the glitters and the special shades. I love her mattes. And then with the lipsticks, people love the kind of the, the bright colours and the wacky colours and the she does sort of um, glitter lips. But this is a plain, simple uh, nude, but they are so hard to get right. And I have to say, the colour is on the money. So if you are looking for that pale pink warm nude, um, this is definitely worth a look in. So I'm going to show it to you again. So it really is. And as I say, one of the biggest issues I found that people have is they think they're getting a pink nude and it turns out to be a little bit peachier. 
This is definitely pulling uh, pink rather than peach on my lips. Um, my fears about the fact that it's a matte formula have disappeared and I'm already thinking, oh, but I need to order a couple more because <laughs> Anyone who knows makeup knows that as soon as you find your dream colour, especially with lipstick, um, they're like, oh, we're not doing that one anymore. Uh, we're doing a whole new season of colours. And you're like, no, but I just found my perfect pink new lipstick. So um, I'm not sure the budget allows, but if the budget does allow, then I think I might possibly invest in a second one of these because I already know that this is gonna be an absolute staple uh, in my very limited lipstick collection. So as I said, I'm very fussy. There's a very, very narrow window of color when it comes to lipsticks that I'm happy with. This one, it's 10 out of 10. Pat, you have done it again. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon.